While Pennywise the Dancing Clown is one of Stephen King's most formidable villains, 2017's It secretly revealed how the villain would be defeated long before the release of the movie's 2019 sequel It, Chapter 2. Its ambitious two-part movie adaptation was a major gamble. Not only was the Hollywood blockbuster one of the biggest R-rated horror movies of all time, but even its original script had to cut some of the source novel's most shocking content. However, despite how dark the King book was, it became a massive hit upon the movie's 2017 release. Both critically acclaimed and a box office smash, it was a resounding success thanks to its careful handling of the source novel's mature content. In one of the movie's earliest graphic depictions of bullying, it even managed to sneak in some foreshadowing for the movie's 2019 sequel It, Chapter 2 that hinted at Pennywise's eventual demise. In 2017's It, Bev stops Henry Bowers from murdering Mike with a well-aimed rock to the head, but the Losers Club soon freeze in fear when the sociopathic bully then confronts them from across a small river. However, the group then starts throwing rocks on Moss, and, since there are six of them, and only three older bullies, quickly overpower the gang. Pennywise is one of King's worst villains, but he ultimately succumbs to much the same fate in it, Chapter 2. When Henry is abandoned by his friends and left lying on the riverbank, the group realize he's weak and that he relies on their fear and singling them one by one out to defeat them. This is same ploy that Pennywise successfully uses until the adult losers club try the same approach at the end of it. Chapter 2. How Pennywise is ultimately defeated in it, Chapter 2 in the ending of it, Chapter 2, Eddie is killed by Pennywise after the Losers Club's attempts to recreate the ritual of Chad fails to kill the ageless entity. This emboldens a heartbroken Richie to direct confront Pennywise, much like his younger self did in it, prompting the rest of the group to attack Pennywise together. As Pennywise's many terrifying forms gradually dwindle away, the group continues to berate him verbally and dismiss the monster as unscary, irrelevant, and weak. The onslaught proves effective, with Pennywise's powers only working when his victims believe he is as dangerous as he claims. The reason that Pennywise targeted children for so long becomes clear when the limits of his powers are exposed in it, Chapter 2. Faced with a torrent of abuse from the Losers Club he shrinks away in terror, ultimately being reduced to a laughable shadow of his once terrifying self. The group are able to effectively overpower Pennywise in much the same way they defeated Henry Bowers back in 2017's it, with their belief that the villain can take them down, being the only thing that makes him powerful. Without the Losers Club believing in his strength, it, Chapter 2's Pennywise is as powerless as the lesser human it villain Henry Bowers.